Welcome back, guys, to a brand new playthrough. We're playing Dragon Ball Z Boost Fury, the third and final installment of the Legacy of Goku trilogy that was on the Game Boy Advance. This game came out in 2004, 16 years ago. That's a really long time. Let's jump into it. We're going to multiplayer. I didn't realize you could do multiplayer in this game. Whatever. We're going to do single player. We're going to do new game, and let's jump into it. Previously in Dragon Ball Z, the Legacy of Goku 2. Oh, it actually shows screenshots from the uh, from the battle. Again, <clears throat> Gohan wearing that stupid Saiyan outfit, which is something he didn't do during the Cell games, particularly when he fought Cell. Uh, Goku's son Gohan was able to tap into the deepest powers and finally destroy the monstrous Cell. Finally, after years of turmoil caused by Dr. Jiro's androids, the Earth was brought back to normal. Except for one thing. <laughs> Goku, who was killed in a desperate attempt to defeat Cell, could not be revived by the powers of the Earth's dragon. And despite a clever plan to bring him back to life, Goku decided it'd be safer for the Earth if he didn't return. And so, friends and family were forced to say goodbye to the Saiyan they loved. Despite this terrible loss, the world was finally at peace. Or was it? <laughs> that <laughs> that Majin Buu orb thing always bothered me because of all the veins and stuff on it. <laughs> Whatever. Never mind. <laughs> that line. Hey. <laughs> okay, let's let's move on. <laughs> <laughs> Somewhere on planet Earth, something ancient and horrible was sleeping, a terrible beyond imagination. It's always Earth, by the way. Like, they couldn't be on Jupiter, and they couldn't, like, fly over... I don't know, whatever. And the forces of evil were preparing to awaken it from... <laughs> from evil imprisonment. I'm sorry, but the shape of it... <laughs> and the veins and the... <laughs> sorry. <clears throat> it's very immature. Sorry. Dragon Ball Z, booze, fury. <laughs> oh man chapter one the other world all right i like that it's got chapter intros that's cool meanwhile millions of light years above along the winding track of snake way goku was adjusting well to the life in other world snake way see i knew snake way was one freaking word you look it up anywhere else and snake way is two words i knew it it's like i had to go back and edit my videos where i wrote out snake way and make it one word instead of two I forgot how long Snake Way was. Okay, and then he goes ahead and says it in two words. Never mind. <laughs> Listen, King Kai, can't you run any faster? We're not making any good time. How many times can I say this? We can't make bad time here because in this world, time never runs out. But I still can't wait to see this master of other world you told me about. Uh, talk about the ultimate fighting challenge. I have to tell you, Goku, you better not think lightly of him or you're going to be in trouble. Maybe if I explain, you know I'm King Kai and I watch over the Earth, and you're part of space. But the universe is divided into four quadrants. There's the North, South, East, and West quadrants, each with their own King Kai. But further above us is the Grand Kai. He rules over the Kais themselves. And he's also a martial arts master with a planet full of fighters, which is why we have to get there right away. Say, how do we get to the Grand Kai's planet anyway? You have to take a plane. It's called the Higher Plane, and it's docked next to King Yama's castle at the end of Stake White. I have to make this face when I'm doing this voice. It's like the only way that I feel comfortable doing it. So forgive me if I look a little bit uh, delayed. Inside joke for some of you guys that may get that, and most of you won't. Thanks, King Kai. I don't want to be late, so I'm going to run ahead. See you there. Journey entry. Go to King Yama's castle. Okay, so it looks like... Am I wrong in thinking that that nose or a little bit of these sprites look a little bit different? Let's see. Looks a little bit enhanced. I think also there's, let's see, punching. Okay, the key blasting is the same. I think we can block now as well. Oh, what's this? Looks like, is that either Kaioken or Super Speed? I don't remember. Well, well, whatever, we'll figure it out in a second. Let's talk to Gregor real fast. What's up, Greg? Seriously, Goku, there's no need to hurry. Okay. I can't keep up with you, Goku. My legs are too short. Ooh, ha, ha. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna see what this does. Uh, let's see. Oh wait, that's a targeting thing. How does that work? How do you? How do you? What does it do? Oh, there's blocking. Sweet. Okay, so that's how you can block. Okay, 
So that's the Kamehameha. What is it supposed to do? I'll we'll figure that out later. Can I power... Oh, make Goku run by double tapping the control pad. Yep, I'm already there. At least we can still run into things. Running out of the snake's mouth. Man, if they ever do Legacy of Goku 4, which rumor has it they're going to. And I know that because if you go to the Webfoot uh, developer's Facebook page, they've actually mentioned this. That they're working on another Dragon Ball project. And they've been posting a lot of 3D models. Which I assume is probably for the Nintendo Switch. But good god. Don't do not do 3D models. Because it looks awful. Just stick with this. Like sort of 8 16 bit style. Welcome to King Yama's castle. You're going to want to talk to King Yama. You don't say. Am I dead? I've been working all morning without a break. I'm getting too old for this. Well you're not really getting too old. Because time here lasts forever. King Yama still looking sharp. What up, my man? All right, let's go ahead and talk to him. Can I have the next soul, please? Hey, King Yama, how's it going? Well, what do we have here? Our good old friend Goku, dead again already. Goku, wait up. Am I going to have to put a leash on you? <clears throat> King Kai, how in the world did you die? Well, it's a long story, you see. No time for long stories. We have to get going. Nice seeing you again, King Yama. Say, where is the higher plane? It's a door to your left. Are you sure you don't want a cup of tea? I mean, that cup of tea would be huge. Look at that. It's like the size of Goku. You could probably bathe in that thing. Wait, what's this crack? Ah, oh, that crack in the wall looks suspicious. I feel like I should be able to break that open and find a secret door, but whatever. Sir, you can't go this way. I'm afraid you're going to have to wait in line. Like, wait a second. You still have your body. I haven't worked here long, and you're the first person I've seen who has kept their body. Please go ahead. Thanks, bro. Appreciate it. <laughs> These just rocks that are just chilling. I wonder if they have television here. I can't miss my soaps. Do you think my grandmother will be here? Uh, no. She went out. Uh, I know... They say you can't take it with you, but they could have at least let me take my capsule motorcycle. Okay, priorities, bro. Oh, this is the busted plane. Yeah, that's the one we're going to end up taking. You watch. This is going to be fully occupied because this is all nice. This is a plane to heaven. The higher plane is on the other dock. Damn. <laughs> all right. Well, let's go this way then. Do, 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 do. This is it, Goku. The plane that will take us to the Grand Kai's planet. What? How can we get stuck with this clunker of a plane? I really wanted to ride the big fancy one. Too bad, Goku. You're going to have to just deal with it. Well, we got there pretty quickly. This is it, Goku. The Grand Kai's planet. Really? It doesn't look like much. Watch your mouth. Oh, sorry. I guess it's more impressive than your planet. Especially since your planet was blown up when Cell exploded. <laughs> LOL. Goku, don't remind me. You're a very rude man. So, where is this Grand Kai? I want to see him fight. To tell you the truth, Goku, in all these years, not even I've had the privilege of seeing the Grand Kai fight, but it is said that no words can describe his fighting style. Wow, so when do we meet him? You'll meet him when he's ready to meet you. It's not something to be taken lightly. So why don't you go introduce yourself to some of the other fighters? Maybe you'll learn something. Oh, one more thing. Do you see that circle on the ground? It's called a save circle. Stand on it and press the A button to save your game. I mean, I've only been playing these games for quite some time. Wow, that was fast. Hmm. Okay. So there's that. Uh, we've got a lot of exploring to do. Greetings, King Kai. It's good to see you. Hello, Olibu. Uh, I'd like you to meet Goku. He's new here. Hey, Olibu. Olibu's from Earth, just like you, Goku. Most of your heroic, heroic legends are based off of this guy. He's working on his 10,000 years of training, and as soon as he's done, he'll be able to train with the Grand Kai himself. 10,000 years? Does everyone have to train that long before they get to train with the Grand Kai? Well, yeah. You have to show that you're perfectly qualified, or else you'd just be wasting the Grand Kai's time. I guess. You should talk to the fighters here, Goku. They might be able to teach you a thing or two. Okay. Oh, and then Oliva just pieces out. <laughs> hey, you're new around here, aren't you? Uh, want some fighting tips? Sure. If you want to really kick butt, you have to use everything at your disposal to win. Sure, punching and kicking with the A button is cool and all, but all the really good fighters use the B button to do their special technique. Cool. 
Yeah, but what does this do? I feel like... Hmm. There's gotta be... Wait. Can I point at this guy? So it doesn't do nothing. Hmm. Either I'm nuts, or there's like literally no function to this. I figure that might be like a teleporting ability, right? Maybe someone will explain that to me later. I just finished doing 5 million push-ups. You can really get a good workout in a place where time has no meaning. Thanks, pink guy with green hair. Hey, you know how to block, right? Yeah. Never mind, then. Cool, thanks, dude. Um, let's see. What about all these guys? They keep talking about the A button and health meters. It's like they think we're in a video game or something. That is brilliant. I'm so glad that there was someone who said this because I always wondered or always got annoyed by that in video games when they keep telling you video game instructions when it's like they wouldn't actually make this conversation. That guy's my hero. This guy is the best. I know I know a way to get items for free. Interested? Yeah, sure. Uh, when you defeat an enemy, sometimes they will drop items and zenny coins on the ground. To pick up the items, you have to walk up next to the item and press the A button. But you can pick up the coins just by walking over them. Thanks, bro. Oh, yeah. I'm the bomb. No one can beat me. Want to know how I do it? Sure. I keep an eye on my energy and health meters. Do you see them in the upper left-hand corner? The red bar is your health meter. The green bar is your energy meter. The blue bar shows how much experience you have until you get to the next level. Knowing these things is as important as knowing how to punch. Fighting isn't all about brute strength. You need to be smart, too. Ugh. Why is everybody here for a ponytail? All the best fighters train using weighted clothing. You should check out those chests over there, and then come back and talk to me. Cool. You found the one-ton armbands. You found the one-ton boots. Hey, do you know how to equip things? I don't, but I can figure it out. To equip an item, press start. Press the R button to cycle through the menu options until you get to the equip menu. From the equip menu, you can select from four different types of equipment. You can choose to equip one of each type and change them whenever you like. About items, about hand items, more. Yeah, I'm good, dude. I can figure it out. No problem. Anytime you have any questions about equipping, let me know. I'm going to be honest. I'm probably never going to come over here again, nor will I talk to you again. Okay, level 60. Curious about level 60. Since we're... We capped out at level 50 in the last game. Inventory. Supplies and story items. No supplies, no story items. Equip. None in the body. None in the hands. We got some feats. Equip to Goku. We must drop the speed. Accessories. We got none. One ton armbands. Equip to Goku. Sweet. Okay, so I see. So you can equip items to help out. That's handy. What else we got over here? What up, dude? Do you want to know how to be invincible? Yes, I do. I have a technique that makes me totally invincible. It's called energy blocking. Hold down the R button to block, and then hold down the B button. You'll be surrounded by glowing energy, and nothing can hurt you. Of course, it dips your energy really quickly, and you can't do anything else while you're doing it. Every time I use it in a fight, I run out of energy and get totally whooped. I guess you really can't call... Wait, what? What did he say? I think backed out of that. I guess you can't really call that invincible, can you? But it might be handy if you're in a pinch. Okay, let's figure this out. Oh, I see. Energy block. Nice. Very nice. Curious. Oh, does our energy grow back up? Let me see. It looked like it just jumped up a little bit. Or maybe I'm nuts. Does it grow over time? It does. Okay. How do I want to do this voice? Hey Goku, up ahead is the Battlefield Royale. It's a grueling maze full of strong fighters. It's an incredible fighting challenge. Incredible fighting challenge? I'm so there! I admire your enthusiasm, however- I started off doing Gokus and that and then jumped right into Olibu. I admire your enthusiasm, however many of these fighters have been training for hundreds of years, even thousands. Are you sure you're ready? No. Be sure to talk to the fighters around here, you might learn a thing or two. True that. But I don't think I'm ready quite yet. I gotta figure out a few things and I wanna walk around a little bit more. Oh, I expected there to be something over there, but running into a wall is fine too. Oh, this is the one I wanted. Mint condition. I should have known he had one. Look at her. Whoa, classic chrome detail. Real leather interior. Check out those fins. It's cool. Alright, easy King Kai, you weirdo. 
Okay, well, that is a good start to the third and final installment of our Legacy of Goku trilogy in Dragon Ball Z Boo's Fury. We're going to go ahead and save it. really hope that's saved because it looks like it, yeah, it clicks real th through real fast. But anyway, okay, whatever, that's fine. Anyway, when we continue tomorrow at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, you know how it is. Same time, same place as always for these classic playthroughs. We'll continue on, we'll go talk to Olibu, we'll challenge whatever it is that we're going to challenge on the other side of that little area there. But uh, hopefully you guys are excited to jump into this because I am looking forward to completing this trilogy. I know, uh, just to be clear, it's not really a Dragon Ball channel, but uh, I do like Dragon Ball, obviously, and I certainly like these games. Yeah, do some push-ups, Goku. You need to get, need to start wow, working on that chest. Ugh. But anyway, yeah, so we'll be uh, we'll be doing this for a little while, but uh, that's not all we're going to do on the channel. I just wanted to wrap out the trilogy. Um, anywho, thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe if you care to, and I'll see you guys tomorrow when we continue the playthrough of Boo's Fury right here on the Mark 9 channel. All right, guys, take care of yourselves, be well, and I will see you then. All right.